My name is Jake, this is my channel Xfer, and we are going to be doing a short series of videos on how to set up your different gold shell mini boxes. Here is an outline of the video for today. Basically, we're going to take a look at some resources that you can use, specifically CoinGecko. We're then going to talk about the different exchanges, so where you can buy and sell your coin, the different wallets that you can use to store your coin, along with the different pools that you can use to mine your coin. And then we'll end the video with an overall tutorial on how to set up your mini box. This video will be focusing on the mini doge. We're right now on the Gold Shell product page and if we come down here to the read more section, scrolling down a little bit you can see all the different stats and everything about the mini doge. But the main thing I wanted to point out was right here in the middle of the page is that the mini doge can mine litecoin and merge mine doge so you're able to mine two different cryptocurrencies in one box so let's start things off with looking at a really good resource that of coin gecko coin gecko you're able to see all the different cryptocurrencies along with their time series of data their market cap and 24 hour volume Let's start things off by looking at Litecoin. So you're able to see the current rank of the coin, the name, the ticker symbol, along with the price. Down here you're able to see the market cap and the coins in circulation. And then what I wanted to draw your attention to was the right hand side of the screen. Basically you're able to see the website, the different chain explorers, and wallets. Scrolling down some more, you can see the time series of data along with the different exchanges of where liquidity has changed hands for the coin. And then scrolling down a little bit more, you're able to see a description of the coin along with news. Scrolling back up to the top, what I wanted to focus on was going into the Litecoin website. Clicking into the Litecoin website, we can see that the Litecoin Core Wallet is available for download. The Litecoin Core Wallet would act as a way to store your coins and support the network. Looking at Dogecoin we can again see the rank, the coin name, and the ticker along with the price, market cap, coins in circulation, website, and all the explorer. Let's now go into the Dogecoin website. Here we can scroll down and we can find the Dogecoin Core wallet. This is where you can store your Dogecoin. I just wanted to mention in passing that the other cool thing is Crypto.com is an exchange, but you can actually mine directly to the wallet on there. What you would do is go to your Crypto.com, select the coin, and say receive, and then send to that wallet address. And basically, Litecoin and Dogecoin are both on Crypto.com. So you would be able to mine directly to your exchange and then sell or buy coins directly on there. Uh, so that's a cool little side note. It's similar for the CK Box Nervous Network. Uh, you can actually mine directly to Crypto.com with that as well. But having control of your coin itself with your core wallet is, in my opinion, a little bit better of an option. So that's kind of why I showed it in this tutorial, but just know that you can mine directly to crypto.com if you choose to. So at this point, we covered the resources available to you, that of CoinGecko. We looked at some of the exchanges where you can trade Litecoin and Dogecoin, and I gave you the specific example of Crypto.com. We covered the different wallets, the Litecoin Core Wallet and the Dogecoin Core Wallet, or you can send it directly to your Crypto.com account using their wallet. Now, let's look at the different pools that you can mine it on. For this example, I'm going to be looking at F2 Pool, but there are other pools available, but let's look at F2 Pool. Right now we're looking at how to mine Litecoin. The first step is to obtain suitable hardware and if you have a mini doge, you already have step one complete. Step two is actually going to be signing up for F2 pool. And then step three is where it gets a little bit more complicated. This is actually configuring your mining device. So you'll enter in this URL 
along with a username. Your account name is going to be the wallet address that you're sending to. And then your worker name can be anything you want. What I personally do is I identify my miners with different stickers and the stickers correlate to the worker name. So for example, I have some Rick and Morty themed uh, stickers on my miners and each character is a different worker name. And then you'll set up a password. Uh, and this is a password of your choice. For Litecoin, as I mentioned before, you can merge mine Dogecoin. And for that, all you'll need to do is set up the wallet address that you want your Doge to be sent to. So you'll have your wallet address for your Litecoin and then your wallet address for your Dogecoin. And then that way you're merge mining the two coins and getting payouts on both. And then that's as simple as it is, you can just start mining right away. Now, looking at how to set up your actual device, here we are on goldshell.com slash tutorial box. This is a really good resource. It shows you everything you need to do to set up your miner. They have a video tutorial if you want to look at that, but we're going to be going through the different steps. The first thing to do is to check your miner, make sure there's no loose parts, and then prepare your network cables and power supplies. So what they say here is, I highly recommend getting the Gold Shell Custom Power Supply. It's able to support four miners at a time, and it's very easy to plug in. Basically, you're going to be using the same wire that you use for a power supply for your computer. Your other option is to get an 80 plus gold power supply, which is just a normal power supply for your computer. Some of the Gold Shell devices now have built-in Wi-Fi, if you don't have the Wi-Fi one, you're going to need an Ethernet cable to plug in. This is an example of my setup. You can see I have two miners, the custom power supply, and then two miners. Each miner has an Ethernet plug and a power plug. And then basically what you're going to do is go to this link right here, the findgoldshell.com option. Once your device is powered on and connected to the Internet, it should pop up here. You'll go into the settings. Here's a really good example. So looking at the pool settings, you'll go into the minor tab and you'll say add pool. Some of the time they have testing pools to make sure your miner is running properly. Make sure you add yours, send it to the top, and then possibly, if you can, remove theirs. So here's what it will look like. You'll see the add pool. Here is the protocol, the stratum, mentioned before if you're using f2 pool enter in their information um, and then again your username is going to be your wallet address dot worker name and password of your choice you'll then say apply and then move that to the top and then you should see it start to kick on if you get the f2 pool app or if you get it in your browser it should take maybe like five to ten minutes before it shows up 